Hi, my name is Scott, and this is a video showcasing the training that my team, my four-person team called MM0, did on the Mississippi River from October 14th to 18th, 2019. We are training because we are trying to set a world record for fastest self-powered trip by canoe or kayak down the Mississippi River. And we plan to make an attempt on setting that record in May of 2020. Here's the team. On the left, Mike Moose Doherty, our esteemed support team leader. Then we have myself, Scott Miller. In the middle, KJ Milhone. Next to him, Casey Milhone. And on the far right, Oliver Symes. So our first day of training, Tuesday, October 14th, we gathered in St. Cloud, Minnesota, and we were missing Casey because she had to finish a paper for college. So it was just the three of us. And we put in just below the St. Cloud Dam, which you can see here. Our trip began by paddling through the beautiful Beaver Islands. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to build throughout the day, I think. Yeah. You can see we always paddle in unison and the stern paddler calls a hut about every six to 10 strokes. And we just try to go as fast as we can. On this day, we met up with Moose about every hour to switch paddling teams with a new person taking over, duffing in the middle of the boat and getting some R&R and resting up for their next paddling shift. We almost always eddy turn, eddy out, and, and eddy in and eddy out when we pull over to shore. And uh, I'll just show you around a little bit. I'm gonna put the phone here. So you can see, see I'm, uh, I'm under here with a bunch of gear right now. And I'm gonna show you all. There's a zipper here that I can open. The canoe cover is a custom creation made by Dan Cook of Cook Custom Sewing in Lionel Lakes, Minnesota. He makes excellent canoe packs, tarps, and canoe covers. And the canoe itself is a Minnesota 4 made by Winona Canoe out of Winona, Minnesota. On this day, we paddled about 60 miles from the St. Cloud Dam to the Coon Rapids Dam. And we went about between 7 and 9 miles per hour, depending on how fast the current was. It took us eight and a half hours. So with the breaks that we took, all told, including breaks, our average speed was 7.2 miles an hour. Burning lots of calories. Okay, day two, and we're at full strength with Casey on board. And as you can see, she's dressed for the cold. We started four miles further upstream so we could practice running the treacherous sock rapids. Here you see the bow plunging under the water. This is where we're very thankful for the canoe cover. That is their 23 foot long Winona canoe. You can see they have a skirt uh, over the entire length there to help keep water out. Casey, there's actually four people in that canoe. One of them is actually under the cover right now. Again, testing all the equipment for uh, the actual attempt in May 20. And we portaged around the St. Cloud Dam.
Hello, Facebook people. We are on the river for day number two. I am eating a banana, and I will show you what's happening behind me. Oliver is eating chips, and Casey is working hard. <laughs> and in front of me, KJ is working hard. And it's really nice to have the whole crew together today. And we successfully ran the Sock Rapids, which was awesome. So yesterday we did 60 miles. Today we're doing the same 60 miles. Plus we added four miles at the start so we could run the Sock Rapids. Very pleased with it. We scouted it ahead of time, which was good. Our support crew, Moose, gave us uh, salmon and cream cheese on bagels, bananas, cookies, hot cider, and potato chips. So we are living large here today. And although we are working hard, uh, half the time we're not working hard and we're just hanging out and doing Facebook Live videos and annoying our teammates. <laughs> we're gonna paddle at night today for the first time in a while. That'll be good. But KJ made a spotlight for the bow of the canoe that we're gonna try out, which is gonna be really awesome. Uh, so it'll be fun. It mounts on the bow of the canoe and interfaces with the spray skirt all fancy. So. All right, cheers. So the current world record is 18 days, 4 hours, and 51 minutes, set in 2003 by Bob Bradford and Clark Ide. Part of our strategy to beat that record is to have four paddlers, two people paddle at a time while two people rest, and we hope that sustains us for the long duration. For the actual attempt, we'll be paddling 24-7, so on this second day of training, we decided we would get in some nighttime practice. The second day was a success, so with 124 miles under our belt, we got some portage wheels and practiced with those ahead of our third day of training. So for day three, we put in just below the Little Falls Dam up in northern Minnesota. are live <clears throat> from about two miles below the Little Falls Dam on an absolutely gorgeous autumn day. We do have a headwind today that could be up to 30 miles an hour at times. So that will be uh, challenging, but it's good because we need to practice challenging things. We are on our way to the Blanchard Dam, which will be our first portage with our new portage wheels, which is exciting. Okay, wave. <laughs> Here Oliver and I are under the cover. That's my foot, and Oliver's, my foot. Oliver's head is about 10 foot away from mine, and 10 feet away from mine. And then if I open this zipper, Very thankful for the Mississippi River Paddlers Facebook page and the curator John Sullivan for collating and collecting all these notes on the portages. The water was very high on the river as you can see by the tremendous amount coming through the Blanchard Dam.
All is well. <clears throat> 10 miles to the Sartell Dam. Hey, this is MM0 coming to you once again from the Sauk Rapids. You recall that yesterday they shot the rapids during the daytime to check it out. This is a night, uh, a night session. Tough to get a real good look at them, but that is their light as they shoot the rapids. Always nice to see the sunrise after a night of paddling. Here comes the MM0 team, their canoe miles. After almost 18 hours on the river, very successful training session for the crew. We appreciate everyone's ongoing interest. Thanks for following us on Facebook. Rapids Dam. Thanks again, everybody.